little chickadees. This time I'm going to read Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. It's by Doreen Cronin, and the pictures are by Betsy Lewin. Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. There they are with a typewriter. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. He got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. And they're saying, if you don't give us blankets, we're not going to give you milk. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold, too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Do you know what electric blankets are? They're blankets that you plug in and turn on, and then they heat up, and they keep you really toasty warm. They feel really good. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Oh, Farmer Brown, what do you think Farmer Brown should do? Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk? and no eggs. Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. It means that Duck wasn't on Farmer Brown's side, and he wasn't on the cow's side. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. They're going to have Duck do the exchange. Hmm. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. And there's the blankets. And they're plugged in. So now they're nice and warm and toasty. The next morning he got a note. Oh no, not another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Click, 
Clickety clack quack. So Duck did not take the diving, did not take the typewriter to Farmer Brown. He made his own note. Do you think Farmer Brown should give the ducks a diving board? What do you think? Look, duck got a diving board. Well, there are lots of books by this author. She's one of my favorite writers. And duck gets in lots of trouble and causes Farmer Brown lots of trouble. We'll be reading some more of these books. I'll see you later. Bye.